So her question was, why am I looking tired? And then we work together to understand that and then to solve the problem. One of the first thing that happens actually is that your eyebrows start to descend slightly. So you get a decrease in the, the lift of your lateral brow and sometimes the, the arch of your eyebrow flattens slightly. So that's always the first thing I go to. And the second thing is a tear trough uh, formation. So you get a little shadow that underlines the eye. So we're looking at each part of the face in detail and trying to make little adjustments that all together amount to a really lovely difference that no one can pin down specifically as to what's changed. So we treat it um, from her forehead to her chin, basically. So little fat pads that get a little bit smaller as you, as you, as you get older. Um, so that's the bit you can see quite clearly in the, in the upper third of her face. As you can see, this, there's a little transition in the way the light catches her forehead, which tells me that there's a fat pad that's shrunk. So we can lift that a little bit and replace that fat pad. Then next to that, there's the temple. So she lost a bit of volume in her temple, and that's also associated with the center of the eyebrow. So supporting the temple and that fat pad has lifted the lateral part of her eyebrow and just made her look more awake. Um, then going on to her eyes, there's really important difference around her cheeks, which is really subtle to see, but it's essentially that I replaced only the fat loss on the on the upper side of her cheekbone. So so it actually makes her look more positive. It's almost a bit like a smile. There's a, there's a, a hint of the cheeks projecting outwards and then a catch light around her cheeks um, is brighter, higher up, so she gets a lifted look. Um, and then really near the cheek is the tear trough. So she only needed a little bit to just soften and shorten the shadow that runs underneath her eye. It makes her look fresher as well. Um, mid face, we soften the nose to mouth line, really, really common treatment that you can do just a little bit because you don't need to try very hard when you're doing the other areas uh, in, a, in a holistic way. Um, and then we've improved a jawline along with those treatments. So they actually all work together or synergistically. So a little bit in the cheek, a little bit um, lateral part of her cheek as well, underneath her cheekbone. Um, that's all, all work to do this little lift and improve her jowl, importantly. And of course, almost like the cherry on the bottom is her chin. So by projecting the, making the chin the lowest point on the face in a female, it's really feminizing and creates that lovely heart shape which she's got back. She was drifting towards square, where you can see in the picture that her cheeks are wider. And then we've basically brought her chin down and her cheek, a lower part of her cheek slightly in, and that creates this more feminine heart shape. It's her natural shape that she would have come from. It's just been restored with all these tweaks in all the different places.